I hate this. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so before we get into the videos, right? I need to update. I need to update on what I was talking about yesterday, which was, well not yesterday, it was like, what was it, Sunday? When the last time I streamed? We talked briefly about the Jonathan Mayer situation. I keep calling him Mayers like he owns a city or some shit like that, but he doesn't. Um, and I think it's better for me to speak when I'm not looking at chat, because y'all niggas be distracting me for real, for real. Like, chill, gang. And I'm not logged into Twitter, so this is even more fucked up. But if I just search Jonathan Majors, I still don't know how to I still don't know how to type in Jonathan. I, I don't even know how that's spelled for real. But basically, this nigga got the worst lawyer of all time. I'm sorry. Um, I thought that there might be some semblance of hope for Lil Bro. I thought that he might have been cooking. I thought that he might have been on some decent shit for a second. Um, to a point where I might have been willing to give the benefit of the doubt and be like, you know what? What happens when the video and the, and the text and the other stuff come out? Let's just wait and see what happens, even though I'm still on the side of, you know, it probably more likely happened than it didn't. Let's just see what happens because it's pointless to not know and then be like, hey, yo, yeah, this is definitely what happened. Also, there's no history of this dude ever publicly doing anything. So I'm like, yo, maybe just for a second, it might be kind of worth it to just hear what happens. But unfortunately, this might be the worst lawyer of all time. And you know why? Because he thought it was a good idea to share this. Now, in my mind, if I'm paying a lawyer, a good ass lawyer too, one that's supposed to keep me out of trouble, one that's supposed to keep my name looking good to the public, one that's supposed to convince the people that don't truly know me of my character and make me look like the best type of individual humanly possible, one that cares about me to that degree would not come out and show text messages that look like this. These are terrible. Awful. Jonathan Major's lawyer shares with TMZ alleged text sent to the actor from the woman, woman being his girlfriend at the time, right? In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, before this all happened, Jonathan Majors was in a situation where, you know, it's a possibility that there's some regular individual out there that might look at this and be like, hey, maybe, maybe he got the, slish, the shit slapped out of him. Maybe he grabbed too hard. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was that. Maybe it was a lot of maybes. This looks far too concrete and indicative of past abusive behavior for me to look at Jonathan Majors with a, with a positive light in my mind, right? So his lawyer, for whatever the reason, thinks that this is a good idea to show to the general public. It says, whatever is up here, there is no note, just you knowing what happened, and this is clearly the day before. Did you leave the keys? Is, uh, is his text to this woman? I'm assuming he's grabbing these texts off an iPad or something like that. He grabbed it from the iCloud or whatever, because I've never seen a format that look like this, unless your phone like 18 million inches. I just never seen it. Um, goodbye with her name, I'm assuming. And this looks like probably a departure from the relationship, I would say. Uh, you get me arrested. I'm probably not going to speak to you anymore either. But that's assuming that I'm on the right. Um, I'm in the right and not that I had already done anything wrong. Uh, please let me know you're okay when you get this. This is from his girlfriend. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. Let me read that again. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw me, the injuries on me, when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry with what they did and I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Call me when you're out. I love you. This is classic Stockholm syndrome. This is this is this read so far like somebody that feels guilty for being protected. This is the worst lawyer of all time. Why would you ever go public with these text messages? They just called again to check on me, and I reiterated how this was not an attack. I just happened to be bruised the fuck up and look like, you know, I ran into Yogi fucking Bear. But, yeah, this definitely is not an attack, and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. Well, sorry for you. Sorry for you, gang. Sorry for you, gang. They don't need your blessing. When they see a crime in this instance, they can just step in. That happens a lot. Um, I read the paper they gave me about strangulation. I read the paper they gave me about strangulation, and I said point blank, this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team, and there's nothing to worry about. 
I just want to know, I want you to know that I'm doing all I can on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior out of care. She promised all will be relayed. Now, I don't know what video he could have. I don't know what video in human history can get this man out of this. This scares me. Why are they so willing to damage this man's image? <laughs> He's in the wrong based on this text. But the fact that the lawyer posted this like he was clearing Major's name is complete sabotage. No doubt about it. It has to be. It has to be. It has. There's no way that my lawyer is putting this information out. There's absolutely no way. Like, is this is this part of the new arc? Is this a is this a is this a is this a Creed DLC here? I guess this is an addition to the movie or something like that. I genuinely have no idea. Like it, it reads for text messages that look this bad. A lawyer should have just deleted these. He should have just never showed these to the public. Only thing I'm coming out with is the video. I want to show y'all what happened. If this lawyer thought this was a good idea, I can only imagine how damning the video might be. I can only imagine. This whole text message reads like somebody who's been, you know what I'm saying, in an abusive relationship for a minute. The person who did does it to them convince them that the reason they keep getting beat is their fault. And anything beyond this, if you try to protect yourself, if you try to convince others that I'm abusive too, um, you're the one that I'm going to try to make crazy. I'm going to try to make you, I'm going to try to gaslight you. You know, this is classic. You know, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. He didn't beat her though. I mean, if that's what you grab from this, from this, from these messages, anybody, in my opinion, who had it wrong on somebody being, this is just too much work. It's too much effort to convince her or to convince him that it's all my fault. A situation that caused me to go to the hospital is all my fault. It's too much effort trying to convince him of that, in my opinion, for this to read like he's not on a regular been abusive in the past. That's what it reads to me. I'm the one that ended up going through the whole hurdle of getting myself checked out. Um, there's strangulation talk. There's, you know, I don't know if it's a handprint, but redness on my face. And, you know, I'm in the hospital. All this other stuff, bro, it don't look like something that someone would say if a mistake had been made. Like, it's just too much convincing to just make sure you're not angry at me. I want to make sure that you know that I am just devoted my entire life to you. Even this down here is kind of like a weird type of thing. Like you passed out. What? Let me see what she said. I told the judge to not the origin of the call was due to me collapsing and passing out. And your worry as my partner due to our communication prior. What were the what was the nature of the conversation? I don't know. To make somebody pass out after leaving the car with you or whatever the case is, uh, it had to have been something very, 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 very deep. But I just don't think a normal conversation with a partner, even if you're breaking up, I just don't think it gets to the level of you passing out unless you're that mentally dependent on this person, which plenty of abuse victims generally are with their abuser. They develop a strong attachment to a point where they feel like they're like connected by the hip or something like that. It's weird, but it happens a lot. Um, to me, this don't read good. Jonathan Majors definitely ain't on the clear with the with these text messages. I'm going to need a video that shows him getting Superman punched through a building for this to not be uh for this to not be damning. Why are you defending Majors but not defending Ezra Miller? First of all, I'm not defending Majors at all. Second of all, I don't know the nature of anything that Ezra has done, so I can't speak on anything that Ezra has done. So that's pointless to speak on, you know what I'm saying? I just can't believe he actually paid money for this lawyer. This is the craziest representation I've ever seen in my life. So fire your lawyer, Jonathan Majors, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't. Um, fire your lawyer. Get new representation. Uh, learn how to call people. Dot NGL, the lawyer releasing this without any other context is crazy. Yeah. 
I don't know what he thought this was gonna do. I don't know what he thought this was cooking. This what this ain't cooking at all. This is baked. This is deep fried, um, twice and put in the oven at a thousand degrees. So, um, yeah, I, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need him to I'm gonna need him to tighten up. I'm gonna need him to go somewhere with this. He need he need he need to get about the way with this one. Can't uh can't 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 maintain it. Can't maintain it. So Jonathan, do your thing, twenty one. Uh, but. If you're guilty, do it in jail, I suppose. That's all I got. This is bad. This looks very, very bad. This is very, very bad. What Stephen A. Smith say? This is very, very bad. This is very, very bad. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. Ezra groomed a girl and has now convinced her to abandon her family and all she knows to just stay in Ezra's house all day. Really? Show the video? The video isn't available. Apparently, a video is coming, but it's not available yet. He should have just dropped the video because those text messages look horrible. They look terrible. Um, let's keep going. They still haven't caught Ezra. E. Kelly. Ezra the real Hawaii Grim Reaper. Nah, nah, nah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry.